Hello world, it's the Surfing Scratcher here bringing you another video connecting the world of maths to Scratch. In this video, we kick off a new series which focuses on images. It's based on the brilliant enriched resource called Up, Down, Lying Around, which is a brilliant framework for thinking about adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. In this video, I'm going to show you the game that I built and also the broken version that we're going to need to fix. If you're an educator, I'm going to link to some resources below that you can go ahead and purchase to support your learners. But let's get stuck into it. Welcome to the Up, Down, Flying Around Scratch resource walkthrough. Just before we get started, I want to give a shout out to the Enrich website, which is full of rich resources for both students and educators. This game idea was inspired by one of their resources that I've done with students in my classes before, Up, Down, Flying Around. Uh, they present a wonderful model, uh, a few different models actually, for adding and subtracting images. So I just wanted to give them credit. This, this game was all born out of that, so you can go check out the link. So let's now take a look at the Scratch project. So here we are in the Scratch project page of Up, Down, Flying Around. Let's check out the instructions. Hello pilot, your job is to keep your balloon in the air and be the first to positive 20. To get to your destination, you will be dealt two cards, an operation, either addition or subtraction, and an integer between negative 10 and positive 10. You will also have three lives. You will be asked where your balloon will end up once the cards are dealt. If you're incorrect, then you'll lose a life. Lastly, if your opponent reaches negative 20, then they crashed out of the game and you are the winner. The deal button is the action button. You can press it to skip the intro as well. Good luck. Okay, so let's press the green flag and see what the game does. Welcome to Up, Down, Flying Around, says this bat here. The red balloon is player one, okay. The purple balloon is player two. The winner is the first to 20, or when your opponent crashes to negative 20. Use the operation cards below to predict where your balloon ends up. If you're guessing correctly three times, your opponent wins. Press the deal cards button to get started. All right, this must be the deal cards button. These must be our... Uh, operation cards, so operation and imager, and let's have a look. Let's get started. Player one, it's your turn. Okay, so I've got this player one, or this player HUD here, and it's pointing towards the red balloon. Let's steal some cards. Tick, 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 tick. We have an operation that is a subtraction, and our imager is zero, so we're actually just going to take away zero this time. Let's have a look. <laughs> What a weird one to get. Okay, correct, brilliant, and no animation because when you take away zero, you don't do anything. Same when you add zero. Okay, let's check out player two's turn because now the HUD is pointing at player two. Let's deal some cards. Put an operation of add or addition, and we're going to be adding a negative. So if we add a negative, I would expect our balloon to go down because we're adding sandbags. So this would go down to negative three. Let's have a look. Correct, negative three. And I don't know if you saw that, if you didn't, maybe just rewind the video, but uh, some animation happened here where some sandbags were entering into our balloon. Now, if you're not familiar with the sandbags, uh, I'm referencing the Enrich model here. So if you're, if you're not familiar with the model, go check it out, but I'll also post a link in the description to a resource that you can look through. Okay, great. So the bat here has also given us some feedback. It says add negative, great. And that's what we're doing, where the operation is addition and where We've got a negative energy here. Great. Let's have another go with play one and see if we can get a different animation happening. So we've got the operation, which is addition. And again, we're adding a zero. Okay. Uh, I'm actually just going to show you something now that we've got uh, this one again. It's uh, unlikely that that would happen. I'm just going to press enter uh, to give the wrong answer here. Okay. So try for the next one. You said nothing and the correct answer is zero. And you can see that I just lost a life there. So I just want to give you an example of not submitting the right uh, response. Yeah, for a positive in the field, you can just um, put down a, a number, a whole number, and if it's a negative number that you need to input, you need to put the negative symbol in beforehand. Okay, let's go back to play two. We've got, we're gonna be taking away, our operation was subtraction, and we're taking away a positive number. Okay, so if we're taking away a positive number, we're deflating this balloon, so it's actually gonna go down again so I know if I go down by seven, that'll take us to negative 10. So that's just an extra, uh, extra unit that we're subtracting. So it's gonna take us to a negative 11. Expect this to say correct. And watch what happens to our animation here of our balloon as we deflate. Okay, so it sort of squishes up there and it's got uh, this nice sound that I recorded. 
and now we've got we're at negative 11. So you get the idea of how this game works. We're going to jump across now into the project starter to see where the game is broken. Okay, so here we are in the project starter now. The instructions are the same. I haven't put them in here, but you've got a link to the actual uh, project. All right, so let's press the green flag and see where this game is up to. We've got the same intro here. If you press the deal cards button, you can actually skip through that. Great, it says, let's get started. Play one, it's your turn. So I'm going to deal the cards. We've got our operation, which is subtraction. I'm going to take away. And we're going to be taking away a positive number. Now, you need to code the custom block, calculate number of images to move in the card sprite to get the balloon moving to the right spot. Okay, so we've given some feedback there that we actually need to do some work. So something is broken here. If that, was, if that came out too quickly for you, just rewind the video and pause it and have a bit of a read through. But we're going to unpack that more in the, as the project unfolds anyway. So where will your balloon end up? Well, I know if we take away a positive, uh, that's a bad thing and we're, we're deflating again. So I would expect our balloon to be negative nine. So I'm going to put that in. Now I'd expect the bat to say correct here, but this time it's going to say something different. Uh, try for the next one. You said negative nine and the correct answer is zero. Hmm? You need to program the custom block say move type in the bat to get the animations working. Okay, so there was some really funky stuff that happened there. Uh, it said that I inputted negative nine, but the correct answer was zero. So clearly something is broken there. And then the bat came up. If you missed that and it was too quick, just rewind the video to, to, to read back through that. But we'll unpack that again as we move through the project. So there are two things that we need to fix in our game. We need to firstly figure out the number of images to move based on our uh, deck result here. So based on the operation that we're given, either addition or subtraction, and the integer between negative 10 and positive 10. So we need to calculate the number of images to move. That's the first thing that we need to do. The second thing that we need to do is give the user some feedback. And that's through the form of what the bat says. So here the bat should say, take away positive or subtract positive, something to that tune. And once we step through that, our animations should play with our balloons. And in this case, our balloon would deflate because we are taking away hot air. So we're taking away the fire and we are deflating our balloon. So that's the general idea of the game and where the game is at and what we need to do to fix it. That's all for this video. In the next one, we're gonna start fixing our broken game. Educators, don't forget that I've got links to resources in the description below that you can use to help support your learners. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay connected to when I release more content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'm off to go find a way. Take it easy.